Hi, my name is Geoffrey and I'm your teacher for this English Phrasal Verbs course. In this lesson, we're going to learn the phrasal verb bring up. This phrasal verb can be used in two different ways. First, it can be used to give the meaning of to care for a child until they're an adult. Let's look at a few examples. Mary was brought up by her grandmother after both her parents were killed in a shootout. Example number two. She promised to bring up her brother's children as her own if anything happened to him. Example number three. I will bring up my children rooted to their culture so that they can never forget where they came from. All right. Let's look at a second way we can use the phrase of verb bring up. We can also use the phrase of verb bring up to give the meaning of to start to talk about a particular subject. Let's look at a few examples. Whenever I have a chat with Joan, he has to bring up his space travel story, no matter the subject. Example number two. The dinner was going well until Kyle brought up the divorce case with his wife, Jane. Example number three. Why do you always have to bring up the 2012 terrorist attack when given an opportunity to speak? All right. There's another way we can use this phrase of verb. It can be used in an informal way which means that you can use it with the people you know very well or in relaxed conversations. In this case, it can be used to mean vomit something. Let's practice it by in an informal way through the examples below. He was coughing so much, I thought he'd bring up his dinner. And lastly, I was so close to bringing up my lunch after witnessing that horrible accident. All right, that's the end of this lesson. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Ensure you use the exercises, like I mentioned earlier, at the end of this lesson to practice. It's only through consistent and constant practice that you'll master how to use these English phrasal verbs fluently. See you in the next lesson.